Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial of mine. In this tutorial I'm hoping to show you Visual Basic 2008 working with Report Viewer. Actually here we will be working with parameters. I'll be showing you how to pass parameters to the reports. And I'm going to show you what are the things that we're going to need first. So let's take a look at the database that we're going to use for this project. I have a database here. So it's an access database uh, where I have a table called customers. I'll be using this table for my reports. So we have around five records there. I'll be using this table for my reports. Okay, now we'll be starting a new project. So let's uh, start it from here. Let's start it from here. Click on create project. I'm going to name this one as reports with parameters. Say OK. OK, project is ready, right? Let's make space for that form. And um, first thing we're going to add is we're going to go to the reporting section. From there, I'm going to add a Microsoft Report Viewer. Let's add that, double-clicking it. Okay, we have it. So let's make it visible in the full screen mode. So let's select the Report Viewer from there. Set the Dock property. Center, that will do, fine. Next option, I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to select Design a New Report. Where we're going to select Welcome to the Report Wizard. I'm going to use the Report Wizard and create a report to save more time. Click on Next and select Database, then click Next. I'll be using a Microsoft Access Database, so I need to select a New Connection. Click on Browse button and let's select the database that I'm going to use. This is the database I'm going to use, COPS. Select that, select open. Click on test connection and say whether it is correct. It is correct. Say OK. Right, let's again click next. Choose data connection and it's asking the file that's the database file is outside our project file whether we need it to copy to our projects that we are working with Visual Basic. So I'm going to say yes, so it will make a copy of the database. So it will be really easy for me to move the projects. The connection string name has been given. Let's say next. Right. And from here, choose the database objects. I'm going to choose customers. I don't need everything. I'm going to work with this only for my reports. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to say finish. There we go. It says select the data source for the report. So I'm going to choose the customers and say next. And here from the wizard, we're going to start building the report. So it's really easy. So you can choose. I'm going to choose tabular next. And what are the fields that should appear on my report? Uh, so I'm going to add these things to my details section. I'm not going to do any uh, grouping. So I'm going to add all the fields to the details section. So like that. So every field is there. Say next. And um, whether you want stepped or blocked, I'm going to choose stepped, select next. And you can choose a style which you like. Uh, let's stay with this forest. So let's say next. And you can give a name for your report. I'm going to say customer report one. It's so a finish. There we go. A report has been created and uh, we can change the caption if you like, right? Let's say uh, rather than customer report, let's change it to custom details. Right. Uh, that'll do. Right. 
So uh, I'm going to go back to my form and I'm going to link the report that just I created now from here. So choose report. Click on that. So it says VB reports with parameters. That's the project name and this custom report one. That's the name of the project which I, sorry, name of the uh, report that I gave. Choose that. And you can check on this. Choose data sources. And data sources properly set. Say OK. Right. Now let's run this project and see whether we generate report. I mean, uh, whether we get the details on the report viewer. Okay, let's continue with this. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Um, we had to choose this report uh, detail section like this and right click on this area and select properties. And where we're going to set the filters. As you can remember, earlier we created parameters. So we're going to set filters. I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to click on here and click on this and it's going to show you the, all the fields that you have here as you can see all the fields which it takes from the database as you can see field there's a exclamation mark then it says cno.valid so to which to which field that we're going to pass the parameter for that's what we're going to do here so I'm going to build an expression here that's I'm going to build a criteria like thing so I'm going to choose this so operator is equal to and value should be click on this select expression and from this expression building area select parameters and there you go the parameter that you just created is being shown here it is cno so you're going to say you just don't say okay just double click on this so you'll see that parameters exclamation cno dot value say okay then again you say okay Okay, so we set the filters there. I'm going to show you how when you run this one, what happens now. If you run this one, what happens is there'll be a small error message in the report saying that the CNO parameter is missing a value. So because we didn't pass that value to this report, so it can't fetch the records from the database table. So let's do that as the next step. In order to pass that value to that parameter, so we need to have some coding written here. So let's go to the code in view by pressing F7 or you can go to view. Whatever, right? So click on F7. Sorry, be on the form mode. Sorry, be on the form and say code. So as you can see, we're going to need this particular section here to our coding, only this part. Before doing that, don't forget to do this. It's very important. You have to import this namespace import start microsoft dot reporting dot win forms right so you just import that don't forget to do that right that's the next thing so um, let's go back to the form here and let's add um, let's add a button and a text box I'm going to call the text box name as txt cno and this button will be let's leave it the na uh, name of the button no need to worry about it just um, I'm going to call this one as um, show record right now we need to do some coding here right so I'm going to double click this so we are here. Make sure that you put it try catch first. And if something goes wrong, that we can handle it using the exception handler. Right. So you make a copy of this one, this line here, and you just have it here. And we don't need anything to happen once the report, sorry, the once the form is loading. So we not going to need this form load event for the time being I'm going to keep it commented or you can erase it no problem I'm just going to keep it commented like this let's save this one and let's run this project and see what happens 
There we go. No error message is coming on the report viewer because uh, it's not trying to load the report there. So there's no nothing is going to happen. So I'm going to type here, hereafter, a uh, customer number like this. And I'm going to click on the show record. Actually, that record should be fetched from the uh, database table and it should be displayed here. That is what should happen, right? So let's see how to do that. Okay. Okay. In order to save more time, I just copied and pasted the code, right? So from my previous project, so I can save more time. Right, um, here what you do is, first thing that you do is, outside the try, you just declare a variable called CN or whatever you like. I'm going to declare my uh, parameter a variable as a CNO, which should be a type of report parameter. So this is how you declare that, dim CNO as new report parameter. Within brackets that we have to say two things. First of all, within double quotations, you have to say the name of the parameter that you mentioned in your report. So I would like to quickly show you that. So going here, uh, reports, report parameter, and you can see that this is the parameter name that we used, parameters, it's a CNO. You could have copied that, and you could have pasted it here in order to oh, avoid confusion that uh, any spelling mistakes or anything like that. So the name, same as your parameter name has to go here. Come on. To this parameter, we need to pass a value once the program is working, once the program is running. So the value here will be taken from my text box. As you can remember, we named a text box called txtcno. So txtcno.txt, I'm going to call that one. So for this parameter, whatever the text which is available in my text box will be taken and it will be used as a filter. And here what happens is this is what the code that we copied from the form load event which loads the report data here. So you can see me.customers.table.adapter.fill, me. Uh, that's the name of the database, dataset.customers, that's the table. So where it will be filling the report details. And here what it does is report viewer dot, report viewer one dot, local report dot, set parameters. This is important. Within brackets, they say new report parameter, new report parameter, just say open, close brackets. And this is an opening, closing curly brace. You should understand here, opening, closing curly brace. Within this opening, closing curly brace, what we have to pass is the parameter object that we just created here. So you just pass that to that, and here we are closing this um, parenthesis that we just started. And here again, you say report viewer one dot refresh report. Those are the three lines of code that you will be needing. Uh, so that will be pretty much it. So I'm going to just give you a test run and show you how it's going to work. Right, so empty report is there. I'm going to type C002 and let's say show record. And report is being prepared and it's coming. Let's put another one. Let's say one. As you can see, John Doe is there. Let's put another one and like that. Okay, hope you understood this and hope you found this uh, video tutorial really uh, helpful. Okay, don't forget to uh, uh, rank this and uh, put your comments. Okay, see you on another video. Thanks for watching.